What is up everybody, how are you today? Welcome back to Thunder Call of the Wild, and today we're out here on Quattro Kalinas, and we will be hunting Ibex. I started a grind here the other day, if you were on the live stream, you would have seen it, but I've been grinding for a level 5 Diamond Southeastern Spanish Ibex, something I'd always wanted. Um, I'd always found several level 4s, but never a level 5. They're usually fairly hard to come across, and... I just thought it'd be a nice goal to try and get one. And just the other day, not long after finishing the stream, I found one. My first ever level 5 Southeastern Spanish Ibex. But before we get to that, there's a few more clips that I would like to show y'all. Including a stream clip of a nice rare that we did end up finding. So, without further ado, let's go on ahead and get into this. Well, if this level 4 Southeastern isn't a diamond, I don't know what is. That's the highest estimate I've ever seen on a Southeastern Ibex, and also one of the widest racks. So we're going to try and take him out once he moves his head out of the way. And just like that, if I can maybe get that little level 2 as well, I can stop running. Ibex are so hard to hit on the trot because of that stupid little, I don't know, Whatever that walk they do is, it's really weird. But it's hard to hit. Oh, they're unpredictable where they go. It's just ridiculous. Let's go see how big this guy is. All right, here he is. Let's see just how big this one is. And he is going to be a 91.24 diamond southeastern Spanish Ibex. Not the biggest one I've ever killed. I thought he was definitely going to be a little bit bigger than that. But still a pretty nice one. So... I don't know if I'm going to tax them. I've killed a bunch of these guys, but still, pretty neat. This is usually an all-female zone. Yeah. Then, oh, hello. What the heck is that? That would be an albino. Hi there. I mean, sucks that he's tiny, but still, that is awesome. Holy smokes, take a look at that. Faded left at just the wrong time. So we got the albino, now let's get one of these dudes as they're fleeing. He should die, probably not quickly, but he'll die. Where's the albino? He's floating, so we will sit here and wait for him. That is awesome. Wow. I cannot believe that. Let's see here. And an albino southeastern Spanish ibex. That is so cool. That is so cool. Would you look at that? <laughs> that is really neat. Awesome. Gonna go ahead and tax that. There we go. Not bad. Alrighty, guys. Well, we are 220 kills into the southeastern Spanish ibex grind. And we finally have a level 5. So happy about this. Hopefully he decides to make diamond. And does not troll us. Um, not going to hold my breath on that one. Because these guys have been known to troll quite a lot. But I am super hopeful. Maybe this could be our first ever level 5 diamond southeastern Spanish Ibex. Alright, well we should have a shot here. Maybe. Actually, he's not giving us a shot. Wow, he is just massive, too. Like, he's just got big, sweeping horns. I'm interested to do, like, a side-by-side -side comparison of him and a level 4 diamond. Just to see what the difference is. But hopefully we can get a broadside angle on him. A fire a 22 shot in the air. That's about to say, that should get him to go alert. Make sure we're zeroed for 150. And then once he gives us a broadside angle, we'll take that shot. And actually what I'm going to do is just slide over this way because he's kind of stopped where he is. And if I can just get slightly more broadside, I'll take a quartering shot. Yeah, once he moves his head, we should be able to get that. And that is a dead level 5 southeastern Spanish Ibex. Let's go. All right, and here we go. Let's see. What have we got here? He is even. So maybe 
and a diamond at 92.43. Now that's interesting. So Southeastern Spanish Ibex max weight is 87.5 kg. Also, we almost goofed up that shot. But max weight is 87.5 kg. And at least I think it is. And this dude is only 82 kgs, roughly. And he's a level 5 and a diamond. Like, that's just so surprising to me. That is really surprising to me. But his horns do look a little bit different. So I'm curious to see what he'll look like in the lodge. So, let's go take a look at this dude in the lodge and see what he looks like compared to a level 4 diamond. Really interested to see, but yeah, not bad. Super happy about that. This grind is finally over. All right, and here we have our Ibex. This is the level five, and this is a really large level four. I think the biggest one that I've ever killed. And I wanted, and this is something I've always wanted to do, is just see what is the difference between the two. Why do these guys make diamonds so much? And that is, we've been able to figure out, is because of their um, spread. The horns go out so far that the spread just puts them over diamond even though they shouldn't make it. It's never really been addressed. It's not that big of a deal. But what is the differences between the two? And looking at them, I can tell automatically that there's a bit of a curl at the back of the horns. Okay? You know, the horns kind of go up and then down and out. Whereas these ones, they're just straight. Okay? They just go up and down. Make a, they, There's no curl at the end. Um, that's something, I don't know, I feel like the Ibex should have that little curl on the end. Like, it just, it makes them look a little different. Especially, it kind of helps to characterize between the smaller diamonds and the bigger diamonds. Or, at least in terms of level. So, I think that's a really neat little touch. Um, but that is definitely the difference, is that there's a curl at the end of these horns. And they may not be quite as wide. Like, this dude goes way out there. This one, it goes out, but it's definitely not as far. They're a little more sweeping than just the horns going straight out the side of these, this one's head. So overall, I think that's really neat. And I will probably end up putting this guy in the main lodge at some point. But I just wanted to show him off here where I could put him beside his little friend. So with that said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you next time.